Holy Mac, how many gallons an acre are you putting down? It's barely moving. 13 gallons an acre. Oh, oh yeah, God! <laughs> not normally this many gallons. No, but, this is not normal. So I want to show you the ground. Obviously, there's no water sitting in here, but there would be no way for a ground rig to get in here with how much moisture has gotten into this ground right now. So this is the only option he's really got. Hey, how's it going folks? Mike with New Way Ag. Today we're gonna go check out Dennis. Has an operation down the road here that he's spraying for a farmer. And it rained like crazy over the weekend. Basically from Friday night to Sunday night. It rained around three inches, so the ground is saturated like crazy, but I wanted to show you this. You see that water pouring out there, this pond here? There was so much water that it came down on Friday night that this pond overflowed. I'm gonna show it to you just to give you an idea of how much rain has fell here in the last three days. I'm bringing that up because it's showing a great example of why aerial application is so good because even if the ground is saturated, this farmer needs to get this product on this crop right now. It doesn't wait on the ground to dry out. He needs it now. And so the drones are the best option for this farmer. Dennis is out getting that done. And we're gonna take you guys over there to show him that. Look down here, all this is washed out because the pond overflowed. If you see here, see how much of the gravel and stuff washed away down through here. All that gravel is gone. So I was just showing you that because to show you how much rain actually fell here, we're gonna get on the road, we're gonna go down there, we're gonna meet Dennis, gonna see what exactly he's got going on there and show you how these drones can be used to get product on the fields when it needs it. It doesn't wait till the ground is dry, it needs it now. So we're gonna go out there and check it out. We're here on location with Dennis. You're gonna see Dennis' trailer. This was the first original New Way trailer. The first one I ever produced. So it's got a lot of different features than what the latest New Way trailer has, but he outfitted it with some of his own stuff. We'll go up here, see how it's going. How's the morning going so far? It's going good. I um, have field that are far away and over the hill. So that part sucks, but I got repeaters set up on top of the hill and it's working out good. Holy Mac, how many gallons an acre are you putting down? It's barely moving. 13 gallons an acre. Oh, <laughs> no, God! Not normally this many gallons. No, this is not normal. So why'd the farmer want to do 13 gallons an acre or, or use drones? Yeah, it's, well, you want to be drawing because you can't get into the fields because it's too wet. Yep. That's normally what he puts it on with his brown rake or how much he puts on with the brown rake. So you want to see Does this burn down? Same thing. No, no, this is like a fertilizer. Fertilizer? Yeah. Yeah, with fertilizer with a grow thermal. Okay. I don't know what way for me to stop growth or promote growth? It's promote. Okay. There we go. T-50. Take it off. Gotta love it. That power line, what? Not nice to me. I can't make him return the home automatic. Oh yeah, it doesn't go high enough. The problem is I have everything set to hover so that when they run out, they don't try to come back on their own. They'd hit that power line. Oh yeah. They don't go up over. Well, they should stop technically. Oh, well, yeah, they probably <laughs> would stop, but I don't. But you don't want to climb up there and get one off. Uh, yeah, not really. And not today, today. maybe tomorrow. Not taking any Kansas on San Juan. They just don't, they might clear it by like three feet. It's that close, but just not. Okay, if you're doing 13 gallons an acre, why not do six and a half one way and six and a half the other way? Because these fields run a lot better in one direction than the other. Oh, okay. What's the crop we're spraying? Wheat. Is it wheat? When he's saying that they don't RTH high enough, in the settings of the DJI system, you can only RTH to 98 feet, meaning return to home. It will go up to 98 feet and turn and go back home. Well, those lines, if they're over 98 feet tall, the drone would not get across it. You have to manually take it over and land. So he's just manually flying them in like this, brings them down.
If you know how to set up your system, you can actually pump, get these drones filled rapidly. The biggest problem that spray drones, all spray drones is, can you charge the batteries fast enough, efficiently enough to keep up with your production? That's why I love the DJI generators. They charge the fastest. Ever have this happen? Updating firmware, unable to take off. You can't do sh and it's updating the firmware. Oh, you must have clicked it or what? No, no, it did this quite now with, with this drone. This isn't the new drone. It did it with the other drone the other day for the first time ever. Like it's, it'll do it middle of a test, just like now. It says updating firmware. I've never seen that. that. Can you exit or? You cannot do anything that I could figure out. Of. That is just a strange wait. one. That is strange. Both drones have done it now. They were right in the middle of spraying a field. I'll come in, free film and stuff, and it won't let me take off, and it says updating firmware. Takes a little bit. It'll be done. That is I crazy. Can... I've literally never seen that before. When it goes good, it's, it's quite, uh, quite soft. Sometimes can be a little bit hectic. <laughs> Mike enjoys hectic. <laughs> I do. I, I like the pressure. Sometimes there's like this going on, that going on. I got to run around. I like it. I don't know. Oh, now he's done. He's ready to go. Here we go. One thing's for sure is when everything is running nice, it, there's not too many other things that are this cool, are there? Oh yeah, it's running perfectly. It's it's definitely the funnest job I've ever had. Yeah. As you guys can see, Dennis is putting a lot of gallons per acre down, and so the drones can't fly fast to get it off because obviously they can only put down so many gallons an acre at that speed. Now, if Dennis does have T50s, he could put the extra kit called an orchard kit extra nozzles on it so then it would allow these drones to fly slightly faster but there's not many applications that we do in our area that we're doing this many gallons to the acre but like he said this farmer wanted this done the ground is too saturated to get his ground rig in there and this is how he wanted it done 13 gallons an acre and why not you know it'll still make a little bit of money to pay some bills that's why dennis is doing this at 13 gallons an acre yeah, the drones are flying slow, but you know what? It's much slower than the drones right now. A ground rig, because it's sitting in the shed somewhere collecting dust, because it can't actually do this in the fields right now. So although it's slow, it's still faster than a ground rig right now. Dennis, um, do you like these things? Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah? So you would tell somebody that has that controller to get one? Oh yeah. I like it not so much just for the shadow, but the protecting the screens and the... Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Like I. I have four remotes like this. Two of them have cracked screens because I didn't have one of these. It's with time when you're doing operations, you'll figure out all the little gadgets that are nice to have. Dennis doesn't have them here, but we have super clamps that clamp onto the railing to latch your uh, controllers too. But he has this little desk thing, pretty nice as well. Dennis, one drone just came back. It tells you right here, how many gallons and how many beakers that it did on this trip. This is how many she's done on the whole field. And then anything that's green are routes that he's already flown. The green dot is where the drone's going to start next. This is all done with inside the computer. Figures out the best route for you. So Dennis, tell me why you uh, got into drone spraying. It looked like a lot of fun. I need something that's very intense and that takes a lot of focus in order for me to not get bored. And um, this very quickly proved itself to be something like that. <laughs> we were just talking about how fast the time flies because you're constantly focused on yep. what you're doing. It takes a lot of focus, you gotta pay attention and the time really does fly, but it's great, it's a lot of fun. And my service is borderline and back there. Get a little blurry of a now and then. It's doing the boundary run right now on that little field. Yeah. Bird Gumby. Yeah. You download that one soon. Pretty cool. So Dennis was telling me that this is not going to be his final setup. Obviously, you can see he's got his chargers or his cooling boxes sitting there. He's got a charger out here. He just kind of quickly threw this together because this farmer called him and he needed it done. And he did it done now. And 
So he just threw all his stuff on the trailer to get out here. Normally, it wouldn't be like that. Beaten monitoring two drones. Not bad if it's going good. He's got this extra petition on his pilot protection wall. We might be doing something like that on the next new way trailer. Dennis, you had a different floor on your trailer before. Now you got the solid composite deck. Do you like it better? Absolutely. Do I have wood with some vinyl on top at the back end? It sucks compared to this. This stuff is amazing. You did something you painted yours. This floor is it's awesome. a single solid composite deck. It's just so nice. If you got a spray drone and you got a trailer like this, fly from the top, it's all enclosed, and there's generators down there. We're all having a conversation. There's literally three generators underneath here. Two over there and one right here. No problem, huh? Pretty easy, yeah. All right, he's done for this location. He has to go get more product and then he's gonna move to another location. So we're at the new location. Dennis just got his first drone out, but check out this field. Jeez, ow. We do have a couple of those around here where we're from, but mostly hills. So we got a little bit of flat land down here to do. It's good for him, should be able to do it with no issues. But the wind did pick up here a little bit. I don't know, it's probably up to about eight mile an hour. Now, it's not a huge deal because Dennis is flying much slower than max speed because I'm putting 13 gallons per acre now. So it's really using the prop wash to force that product down into this wheat. So it shouldn't be a problem at all. He's got one of his drones here. Not what you wanna be doing, but again, this farmer does not have much choice because of how saturated the ground is. So I wanna show you the ground. Obviously there's no water sitting in here, but there would be no way for a ground rig to get in here with how much moisture has gotten into this ground right now. So this is the only option he's really got. These drones lay it down. All right guys, that's it for this video today. I just wanted to show you how these drones can get into the fields, obviously even if the ground is saturated. 13 gallons an acre, not ideal for the situation with drones, but again, it can be done, you know, if it needs to be done. He had one issue with some type of software update that he needed to do in while it was in a mission. Never seen that before, super rare. Not sure why that was, but uh, it's going smooth right now. He's gonna keep knocking out these acres. And yeah, that's all we got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one.